Sue. <laughs> Welcome to our apartment in Venice. I'm actually filming this the day that we are leaving because I forgot to when we first got here. So a little blast from the future, but I hope you enjoy the Venice vlog after this. We found this place on booking.com. It is called Lagoon Secret Venice. And honestly, I picked it because look at the blue and white. It's just so beautiful, so cute. I'm gonna take you through and kind of show you everything. We feel like we haven't really gotten to enjoy it that much because we've been so go, go, go for our very short time in Venice. But it's such a cute place if you're staying for a longer stay because they've got a full kitchen, this day bed, a TV, just like all the things you need if you wanted to stay in a home. Um, we are staying on the island of Gideca or Guideca. It's a residential island that is not accessible by bridge from the mainland of Venice, from the main island of Venice. And that has been so nice, honestly. Like you do have to take a good, I would say maybe 20 minute water bus to get to like St. Mark's Island, but we don't mind that at all. It's not, there's hardly any tourists here. It's really residential and very calm. Sorry, the lighting's kind of bad because it's about 10, because it's about 9 a.m. We've got all our electronics and bags kind of ready to go here. It does have pretty much a full kitchen. We've got a fridge, freezer, sink, What's interesting about Italy is it seems like they're pretty big on recycling, which is great. They've got all the different bags for separate types of materials. So we need to remember to take that out before we leave. Charging area is what we've used the countertop for. Stove, a kettle, espresso maker, which we used this morning. Lots of storage, an oven. Definitely a good kitchen if you're staying here longer. The girls who run this apartment are so sweet. We had one of them meet us here and she let us up and gave us a tour and just helped us get settled. They have been so kind and gave us dinner recommendations. Let's forget how this door works. This is like a little bit of a struggle. So this is the little balcony area that is just absolutely adorable. It's so pretty. Love this. Again, we really haven't used this that much, which makes me sad because we've been very go, go, go and have had different reservations and things to meet. And we spent all day yesterday on the main island of Venice, but would totally recommend staying here if you're looking for a nice place for a long weekend or longer in Venice. Justin actually used this outdoor area to dry his clothes because he hand washed them in the shower. So we did use it for something. All right, hello. So back here we've got the bedroom and bathroom. Look at that. All right, here's the bathroom. Funny story about this, this actually fell from the ceiling when we first got here and we were like, what the heck? So I actually need to message our host about that before we go. Here's the bathroom, super cute. Love the marble, love the blue and white theming. They've got their aesthetics down. Hello again, we're having a little no makeup travel day because we're getting some little mosquito bites, which is not impacted by makeup, but this I can't tell if it's a pimple or a mosquito bite. So anyways, we're gonna go in very simple for this travel day. But again, ignore me, I'm Emily from the future. <laughs> this is the bathroom. We've got our classic toilet and bidet combination. Lots of good towels, toilet paper, a beautiful bathtub. It's a little bit tiny, neither of us took a bath, but we both showered in here, of course. And it has been lovely. It's just a really, really nice space. Okay, we love the bedroom, although we did find one little bug in our bed as we were making the bed this morning, which is like a halfway made. Um, that's just par for the course because there are lots of mosquitoes in Venice because we're so close to the water. I mean, we're literally on the water, you know, islands, canals. And so we have these little mosquito spray repellent, whatever stuff here that I don't know if we switched on last night, so maybe that's our bad but they do think about that. Here's the bed. I have this little electric fly swatter right here. We laid out all of our stuff in this, I don't know what this is, like an open wardrobe situation. And that's that, big fan. Good morning. Welcome to Venice. We are heading to a gondola ride. It's gonna be great. We are staying on Guideca, Guideca. It's a really residential area and it's so sweet. Where are we 
you're about to do. On the gondola. Oh, yeah, my God, the gondola. <laughs> We've got our little audio guides. We are in Venice, by the way. Um, audio guides, headphones. We are going to be listening to this in English. And we've got a lot of people here waiting for Scott to look tours. I think we'll be in a boat with a couple other people, but like maximum five is what it said. And I think the whole thing should take a little bit under an hour. Where are you? Uh, three <laughs> out of ten. You don't, you don't eat that lar bar, buddy? You're going to be like a one. I thought it was good, you know, my drink was not my favorite, um, but what did you have? I had a frozen Florinian, it was, it was pretty good. Like a frappuccino is what it looked like? Yeah, um, but it was the equivalent of roughly $22, but I feel like we mainly paid for the fact that this was one of the oldest coffee houses in the world. It was, it was like 1720s when it opened, so, I believe? Yeah, so that's cool. We like that. It that coffee cool. house is old in America. That's that's crazy! Who yeah. that? Yeah. Whoa. So, it was worth the money. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was definitely very expensive. I had a cappuccino with whipped cream or ca cappuccino con I think that's what it said, like cream. That was really good, but I definitely need more caffeine. I don't think Justin had any caffeine in his. It was like all sugar. And then I had a little croissant ham sandwich, but it had no cheese or any kind of spread in there. So definitely still hungry. It's noon and that was breakfast. So I have a feeling lunch will come hour or two probably. probably. Um, but we're pretty dehydrated so we're trying to stay stay hydrated. It's very hot out here and we don't really have any plans. We just have the gondola at 10 and then I think we're gonna walk around and explore a bit and find some more coffee. Anything else you want to do? Uh, yeah just wander and you know without having any plans the world's our nice. oyster. We want to take an afternoon nap. We, we might. Take an afternoon nap. We might do that. Yeah. Okay we'll check in with you later. Okay, I heard about this from a couple other YouTubers and people on social media who have traveled to Italy recently. And I actually was able to open Google Maps app and save a bunch of places as pins in Italy and that just makes a list of all your compiled pins. So we're trying to find a place to get some espresso. And so I'm gonna go up here to Venice because I have ones that are ready for Amalfi in Rome. And then just zoom in on Venice and see what we can find. Take. What's your hot take, babe? That Venice kind of feels like... Also, we have to look at the camera. I keep forgetting that. Uh, Venice kind of feels like a mall. Really yes. expensive crowd. Yes. Like an Italian-themed amusement park is kind of what we were saying. It's still super cool, but like... It's, it's a lot. <laughs> Like, well, let me show them the bridge I just passed. Yeah. How chaotic it is. There are dozens of people out there. We have our other hot take. <laughs> I need to wait till I pass by. <laughs> our other hot take is that it doesn't feel like a real city because it's all tourists. Even the locals that we've met aren't actually locals. They've come in from like 
mainland other little cities and towns so it's so interesting yeah obviously we've been here for like 24 hours but it's just very odd Are you gonna say hi to Michelle? Hi Michelle, if you are seeing this, thank you for the Rex. Because yes. of you, we are here. Otherwise, we would not have known about this. Nope. It's like a more colorful Venice. It's a little bit more calm. Yeah. Perhaps a lot bit more calm. Would you like to take the fan and fan yourself? Oh, because he is just so hot. So hot. <laughs> In many, much grease. Patrick. Patrick the pirate pigeon. <laughs> Hello, pirate pigeon. Stay strong, pirate pigeon. Stay strong. <laughs> Hi! It smells like a water bottle. <laughs> we are back from Burano and it was 10 out of 10. Yeah, we like, recommend if you're in Venice. Yes, yes, go, go do it. It's beautiful. We had many little treats there like pizza and, and a smoothie. So that was good. You gotta like yeah. it. I gotta. Sorry. No, it's okay. Um, yeah, now we're back in Venice and we're gonna go find a bar and get a drink and some more snacks and then dinner. Yeah, yeah. that's what we have to say. Having a great time? Yeah. Have you seen anything else? I'm trying to think anything else. Uh, no we worthy about Verona. We raided a lot of pigeons. Oh, lots of pigeons. Yes. Yeah. Go back and watch that if you missed it. One only had one foot, so. It was a pirate pigeon. Pirate you guys. pigeon. Pirate pigeon. Yeah. Um, pigeons are plentiful here. Yeah. Yes. Not as bad as New York City. No. Or maybe not as good not as, as good. New York City. Actually, no, they're better here. But anyways, this is the water taxi situation. It was a little confusing at first, but it's kind of like figuring out a subway or train station in a different city. Um, very simple with the lines and buying a day pass and whatnot. But yeah, it's very, it's very fun. I feel like after leaving Venice tomorrow, we are going to feel weird being on land. Yep. <laughs> and not being on boats constantly. But yeah, we're going to go find some of the drink. We are doing better with hydration today. Yes, we and are. digestion and all the things. Still not optimal, like how we are in the States, but... Better. We're doing better. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We'll check in later. That's a nice pigeon. What do we rate it? I'm going to go to 9.5. Really? Mm -hmm. I'm thinking like an 8. Dang. Okay.
had a wonderful dinner and got limoncello shots at the end which I guess is an Italian thing and it was really good. Really good. Yeah. yeah. What do you have to say about dinner? Uh, it was good. Limoncello. Yeah Justin was like oh my gosh this is the best of ever. <laughs> You see this, remember and I'm gonna have you. a whole bunch. <laughs> <See>? Surprise! <laughs> you didn't know that. Okay.